Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and once again, uh, we have Michael uh, Brave Jayhawk Jensen. And while 99.999% of survivor pools have been been dead for two weeks, we have the real we have the real trailblazers. We have the real the real the OGs, the real whatever you call them, the diehards that have playoff pools going that got through 16, 17, 18 weeks. Faded all different chop offers, faded all different types of stuff. And and I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe Mike's still around. But let me just kind of just summarize where we where we <clears throat> where we are. So we started off like a hundred years ago. Um it feels like that. Right, with week one, uh, with everybody with like hundreds of pools in and thousands of entries and different variations and stuff between circa and their home pool with four people in it to the nitrogen pools to all this stuff. And we've been hoping to teach you guys like everything about survivor pools along the way. Um, as far as results go, uh, I chopped something like week 10 or 11 on nitrogen for like 45,000, which was really, really good. And then my, my last survivor pool ended a few weeks after that. And for the past, uh, I think seven years, we've been tracking uh, the, the uh, Brave Jayhawks last pool, which was started off uh, just a regular single pick pool with a zillion people in it, which he was actually either defending champion or has won this pool outright several times. So it's kind of his, 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 like got his name on it. And what the interesting twist is, it's not even enough to get to the end of the year. I mean, what mm -hmm. happens usually at survivor pools, the end of the year, if everybody's lucky enough to fade all the variants and get there, then they chop it. But the, but this pool, it go, it go, presses on into the playoffs. Now, fortunately you don't have to, you know, then, play teams you know you have to save teams for the playoffs otherwise it would have been like impossible so you get kind of like a system reset where you get to use teams again uh and if you use them once if you use them already then you can use them once more and if you didn't use them then i guess you could use them twice now from all i know correct I think that everybody got through last week um but but let me know where where where's the pool at and one thing you have never haven't told me i presume is no it's, I guess my, my question is anybody have the ability to play a team twice? Um, answer that as, as you answer where, where, where your pool is at. I'll answer that first. Uh, no, no one had any of the relevant teams. Okay. Um, yeah. Anyone who you'd even consider wanting to take twice with four entries remaining, no one had any of those teams. Okay. So that, that just did not come into play this year. Okay. Um, but uh, 1,115 to start. And through 18 weeks, four, four entries standing. Um, Jesse and I are exhausted, so <laughs> we. Uh, and no one's chopping, huh? No one wants any. No problem. one's chopping. We we're the only ones that wanted to chop. Uh, there's no advantages left, other than just stop whoever's going to, right? you know, play better. All things being equal, though, no one had any team advantages. Right. Um, one little wrinkle in the pool. I really don't like this, but you know. I, I play in the pool, so I, I you know you got to be careful complaining about things. In the right. end, I have a choice to play the pool or not. If you if you don't have the endurance right. to play a pool like this and to, and to suffer the pain at the end, it's very simple. Don't play this type of pool. Um, you know, play one that ends at um, you know at the end of the regular season. But we have won this twice in the past um, with 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 chops and. We tied for first one year, and the other year we we chopped once or twice and won the rest um, in the Super Bowl. So no one wanted to make a deal, but you can't even deal for the entire thing anyway. It's like the, a Poker Stars old school tournament where you right. have to play for something. I don't understand it, but the way it's the way it's phrased is if there's four people left, you can chop up for up to. Um, 80% of the pool. So okay. you would, you know, he, he, the way, the way it's described is there's four people divide the prize pool by five chunks. Okay. So if there's six people left, just divide by seven, even though I've won this thing twice, I still don't know what the rules for chopping are. I, Cause it's not as big. Cause sometimes you want to, you know, do a save. And we did a save a couple weeks ago, 19,000 per team right. and then play for the rest. But then I asked, well, what if we want to chop again? Um, and he's, Oh, I don't know. That's never happened. But, uh, it didn't matter. No one wanted to chop. So we had a really big decision to make because once you use a team, you cannot use them again. 
Uh, so a lot goes into the thought process of not only who do you want to take, but really what matters the most is who do you think your opponents will take? Yeah. And then just don't do that. Right. Um, we talked multiple times throughout the week. Um, we felt very, very confident that Cincinnati was going to be the chalk pick in this format. The problem with that is there's not 24 people left. There's four. Right. We have three opponents. So right. if two people have a similar thought process that we have, right. then Cincinnati would become the elite pick because everyone's thinking along the same line. But 24 left, it, it wouldn't have been a consideration. We just wouldn't – we would have took – we would have taken like – probably Jacksonville or Minnesota or the Giants because yeah, two of them are underdogs, but with that many people left, I don't want to split the pool, you know, six, eight ways, you know, create a path that can maximize the most EV. You win less percentage of the time, but the times you win, you're winning a larger piece of the pie. We felt very confident that, and this is also more or less a local pool. Um, it's Kansas City based. The person who runs it, I don't know the demographic back. Uh, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot. That's a lot of. That's a lot of money for a local KC pool. But there's there's definitely other people in it. Um, right. But you you know, you have to assume there's going to be some Kansas City leaning people, and you got to think, okay, well, the Chiefs are the one seed. If they're we're playing for two hundred thousand, where are they going to want to take Kansas City? The Super well, Bowl. not in the first week, but. Um, probably, but eventually it's like, okay, when are they going to, you know, make the pick that either makes the most sense or, 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 or is the easier one well, to well, make? What makes it, well, well, again, just instinctively, and I didn't bracket this out, but like instinctively, the idea is that while the NFC, at least the perception is there were only two teams that had a shot that the right. AFC had three, you know, that, that, yeah. that, that Cincinnati was like that third team so that you could, you could save one of those AFCs, you know what I mean, for the Super Bowl yeah. and burn the others, where the NFCs you had to, you know what I mean, like you weren't taking, correct, you know. So, so I guess that that's that's this the slingshot is is that that three team AFC uh, uh, pokey pokey. <laughs> it's like I, I I definitely agree with that for sure. Um, that's a, I mean that's definitely the easiest uh, route to go because then who as long as one of those three teams make the Super Bowl, they're either going to be pick up, like pick them at worst against right. whoever they play at worst. Um, but it really comes down to, you just don't want to be God forbid. You just don't want to be on a group of three. That'd be yeah. an absolute disaster. Um, so we talked about it from there's the, the easy part is with only four people, there are only three teams going to be taken. No one was going to drop to like a three point favor in this format. Right. Yeah. Um, and if they did, then, th you know, that's great. Then we have an advantage over that entry. Um, it wasn't, you know, if there were six or eight people left, we'd have to decide, okay, should we consider dropping? But with four people, it was very simple. That's not even a consideration. So we only, we, we looked at each, each of the three teams. We felt very confident that Cincinnati was going to be, not really in a four-person league, but if you were to ask people individually, who would you take under this format? You can only use each team one time. Right. And I told some people, you know, I did a Twitter poll, which I'll get to, but boxed out does not equal automatic loss. And that's, right. and that's, really, and that's really, really important. So right. that if, you, if you do not have a Super Bowl pick, another entry would have to win their Super Bowl pick to ad right. advance or survive past you. Otherwise you would chop. Or the idea of the right. idea being that you both had the same amount of wins. Correct. Right. Correct. So that really, that little wrinkle is, is really important. And, and, and it helped us make what we felt was the right decision, but we ended up taking San Francisco and it was it was really nice to take San Francisco because San Francisco played first game on Saturday and, it, and and with so few people left, you want to play first because if you win, then you have you know some potentially really good um, insurance or hedge opportunities that could come up the next you know in, in later games. But we wanted to really be certain, so what we did a few different things. I I talked to my survivor group chat on telegram. Um, I asked a, a few friends that have, you know, that play survivor, not 
to the extent and the level that we do, but that they have play it. They un understood the format. And I also did a Twitter poll. Um, I think two people said they would pick San Francisco on, under that form, under, under the format. Um, and that made us feel very confident. Yeah. You know, we, we, we have asked a mix of people. We, I, I asked them not to think about what their opponents would do just instinctively. What would you pick? Right. Right. right because right. when it comes down to it, I don't know who my opponents are. So. Yeah. Oh, you know, okay, okay. not person. No, I have no idea. Okay. Either. Okay. Um, so. The, the, the I, I thought the we thought the logical approach would be what are people instinctively think is the best play, and we're just not going to do that. And it worked out great. No one took San Francisco. San Francisco won. Um, and then uh, obviously we didn't expect anyone to take the the later game on Saturday, so that didn't matter. But the result did. So every game matters in this format because once you take a team, you want that team to lose. So you want them to play, you know, the yeah. best matchup possible afterwards. What was the second game on Saturday? There was I first one was Miami. I remember that. Um, no, on on uh, no on on well, we put we oh. put, San Francisco played on Saturday. Oh, and then, uh, yeah, I, I, I oh oh the Jaguars and, and oh Jersey. right right that shit show. <laughs> yeah, that that one uh, we, we wanted Jacksonville to win because you know. We wanted we wanted them to play the Chiefs instead of the Chargers because the Chargers are a little bit better. Um, and then we woke up to the best news on Sunday: the, the the picks locked, and all three of our opponents took Cincinnati, which amazing, is absolutely incredible feeling. It, it, and we had time. It, it's not like the game started right that second. We got to see, you know, we got to watch the the Buffalo game, and and that one, you know, that one mattered too. Like, yeah. um, we really wanted Miami to win because then it makes it more likely Cincinnati is going to advance to the AFC championship game, which would be bad for the Cincinnati pickers. Um, True. Almost got, I mean, they should have been, they should have lost by like 45 points, but somehow it was close. Um, and then it came, and then came the Cincinnati game and it was, I mean, everyone watched it or if they didn't watch it. You know, they seen the play and that was devastating. Um, you know, it was a little bit too much to, to lay off. I didn't want to lay minus 400 or whatever it was. So we took, I took the approach. I've got a, um, I've got a bunch of money on my, my Kansas sports betting account. So I was just looking for a good live in game spot and well, it was there for a little bit, but once they got to uh, the five yard line, I decided I'm going to wait to see if they score. And if they score, I'm going to, I'm going to bet 10,000 on Cincinnati money line and maybe, maybe, maybe do the points instead but well it went a fumble six the other way and that was that so um everyone everyone advanced we won nothing but we still have a very very good advantage because we we have a team available that everyone else has picked so now we find ourselves in the same spot we did last week with a little bit more information and the goal is the same we want to pick a team that no one else is going to take um and there's only three choices just like last week, but this time there's four games. Um, so I, I want to turn it over to you to see, do you have any comments or, or thoughts about? <sighs> so what they all took San Francisco. No, since they all took I'm Cincinnati. Sorry. They, they took all the, took, yeah, took Cincinnati. Took Cincinnati. Yeah. So they left themselves the Buffalo, um, whatchamacallit, what's the other team? And they, they left themselves the Buffalo, Kansas City, okay? So they can very well go and play Buffalo, then KC, then – or Buffalo, then Philly, then KC, right, if they wanted to. There's there's three routes they can go. They can – whether they take Buffalo or not, they need Buffalo to win if they take Kansas City this week because if Buffalo loses – then they then can't take they them. Run, <laughs> then they run out of picks. They'll, they'll right. get boxed out. So they'd be forced into the NFC Championship game. They could take Kansas City and be in the same uh, – they could take Buffalo, and then they're guaranteed an AFC uh, Championship pick because wait, they wait, wait, hang take – Hang on, hang on. They, they, they all took – okay, right. They all took Cincinnati, right. So – they can't – oh, so – oh, I this is this reminds me of the NCAA bracket pool. Okay, so so now I know what's going on. 
Yeah. Uh -huh. so, so, so they took Cincinnati, so they can't take them again. Okay. So right. they already need Cincinnati to lose. Correct. Okay. So they don't want to take Buffalo because then they're like double, you know what I mean? Like they already need Buffalo. Isn't that the case? Kind of. Okay. Because you're never going to win the pool this week. We could win the pool this week. They're unlikely to win the pool because there is a far greater chance their pick is duplicated than ours because they are up against two other entries that Wait. is in the same exact position yeah. as them Hold and on. then uh, and then us. Hold on. So you took San Francisco, so you can't mm -hmm. take that. Right. So 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 they, they have but they're not taking San Francisco either. No one's now, taking San Francisco. Now I wonder why they would not be taking San Francisco. Um so if well the, once again, like if you can't take San Francisco, then they can wait to take San Francisco if they wanted to, because you can never take San Francisco. Philly. Correct, but they but they also want to avoid duplicating what one of one of the other two entries that's are true gonna, are gonna do. That's true. Because because all three of them took Cincinnati. They can't worry yeah. about you. Um I think that's correct. They should other. only worry they should only worry about each other. Each other. So I, I'm back to this idea of 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 those guys not taking Buffalo because they need Buffalo already. But in the event that they take Kansas City, if they got to say if if they took, um, if they take Buffalo, if they take Kansas City, they want they, they want if they Kansas take City Kansas City win. and Cincinnati wins, they're out. Correct. Right. Is that correct? Right. Yeah. Yeah. If they take Kansas City and Cincinnati wins, they're out. Okay. If they take Buffalo. I think they do want to take Buffalo then because then you get right. Cause you need Buffalo to win anyway. So you might as well take them. I think that's what they have to do because they could now, go, you, only, they, they, now you only need one thing. Yeah. to happen. Like if, if you take Buffalo, then you only need them to win. If you take Kansas city, then you need Kansas city and Buffalo, excuse me, and Buffalo to win. To ha yeah. To have the maximum possible amount of picks. Correct. Right. So I, th I think that that's what they're going to do. I think they're going to take Buffalo and, and they take Buffalo and then what they can do, they'll, they'll take Buffalo. This is what I would do. If I would take, if you just want to win, right. Forget the duplication for a second. You take Buffalo, then don't take Kansas city, but root for them <laughs> right in the AFC championship game. Of course. Yeah. So that they can play them in the Super Bowl. So in the meanwhile, so their path is Buffalo, then somebody, doesn't matter who actually, in the NFC Championship game, whoever the favorite is, right? And then Kansas City. I think well, they could take or they could take Kansas City to beat Buffalo on neutral field and then take the and then they get whoever the NFC is. Because if they jump right. to the NFC, remember they only would have a pick if Kansas City were to beat Buffalo anyway. Right. Now at that point, it, it, it each each week. Is, a, is really a, a, a hard reset uh, for strategy because you'll know what your opponent has taken the previous week and what they're now what they're really likely to take. Um, and you and, and, and really they, the, the, they the, next, the next the next picks the easiest one. The third week is the easiest one. Well, let me ask. Okay, so let me ask this: What are the spreads in the two NFC games this week? Um, they're seven and, seven and a half and four. Okay, so if they take. San Fran, or at least one of them took San Fran. Then they would take San Fran, then root for Philly, while they take probably the winner of the Buff. Huh. I think I think they're gonna I think they're gonna take Buffalo. Each time I do this, I think they're gonna take Buffalo. Right? We think we think so too. Now the, the the now our reasoning for it is is very basic. We think it was a predetermined decision that nothing else, nothing in the present matters, that the decision was made last week. They took Cincinnati, who was the least favorited of the three heavily favorited teams, because they knew that 
Buffalo was going to win as a 14 point favorite. And then right. they would play Buffalo and Buff the, they would pick Buffalo to beat Cincinnati and assume, which is fine, that Kansas City would advance through. And then the decision would be, do you take Kansas City in the AFC championship game uh, or do you no, jump I, over? I, I, think, I think their path is Buffalo and then presuming Kansas City wins, then take the NFC championship game, whoever, knowing that you can't take San Francisco, right? And then, and right. then, and then they'll take Kansas City in the Super Bowl. I think that's. But that, that, but that will be made up after this week. That you don't, they don't have to think that far ahead because if, if Dallas beats San Francisco, Dallas is going to be you know very small dog, very small dog to Philly, um, or a favorite. Right. So then they could change the their Giants, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it is. So we we feel is a predetermined decision, but it, it's difficult because when we talk this through. The logic really starts uh, – it, it, you fall into, like, circular logic because everything makes sense of the three teams. Um, they, all, all the options actually do make sense. We just know we can't take Buffalo because Buffalo no, no. should be the most likely team. Yeah. Now, one thing I, I, I put in the Discord that I want to talk about. Now, it made, a lot, it made a lot of sense at the time when Jesse and I talked about it it's harder for me to articulate it on the spot, but I came up with a very bizarre, possibly brilliant, maybe just stupid uh, uh, strategy of uniqueness. This would have been this would have been a lot better with more teams um, in, in it, but I really felt that going San Francisco then Philadelphia was an option, and I and I just coined it the box out. Uh, the box out uh, theory because then it would open up. You don't need to, you don't need to have with, with so few people left, you don't even need, you don't need to get there necessarily to have that fourth pick to win. And, and, and worst case scenario, you can, you can still chop oh, because if you, because if we knew no one was taking Philadelphia, I, I feel like that has to be the correct pick, even but you though don't we are know that San because they, they could do Philadelphia. I, and, 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 that, and that's and that's the trouble. Um, we're, it would have been easier if the problem is Tampa Bay had won. The problem Tampa is Bay had won, have been easier. The problem is the same thing there. If they take Philly, then they well actually they don't care who wins the other game, right? Doesn't matter, right? If they take Philly, they'll, they don't care what's going on. They'll end up either taking Buffalo or somebody in the. They'll end up taking somebody in the AFC, and then, or or they could end up taking San Francisco in the NFC Championship game if they want to do that against you know a favored New Philadelphia team. Or maybe yeah, not. The, the box out idea was. More, more was was going to come into play if people took San Francisco, because if 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 so, well, let's just say hypothetically that two people took San Francisco, so then now nobody could take San Francisco. Is what you're saying? Then a Philly pick for us, setting up a box out would be a good strategy because no one else would take Philadelphia. Like if, if three people, the four took San Francisco, we were going to a hundred percent take Philadelphia. Because there's no way those two, those those two other players would have done it, zero shot. Um, so as long as the fourth player did not take Philadelphia, there's a chance they they could all all three of them be on Kansas City or Buffalo, in the event that people took San Francisco. So that's the, the we took San Francisco because we felt no one was going to take them, but our insurance was. If people did take them, especially if somehow two people did, we could take Philadelphia this week and possibly be the only one on them with everybody on Buffalo. Um, but as it turned out, no one else took San Francisco. So I, I we're, we're pretty much we have no choice but to take Kansas City and then just leave it up to hope, hoping people predetermined made their decision. I'm not even my, I haven't even thought about what I would do if I were if I was in that, in their position, um, that's a tough well, they one. Could, they could, they could take Kansas city root for Buffalo and then take Buffalo 
you know, or take, yeah, you, they, they could certainly do that. They could take Kansas city. They'll need Buffalo to win anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. And then when Buffalo wins, according to them, right. Then they yeah. have a choice Then they could either take this, the NFC championship game and then Buffalo in the Super Bowl, or Buffalo and the NFC champion in the Super Bowl. Um, so I think they could. I think they could. They could play Kansas City too. Um, oh, for sure. And, and the and the benefit for us uh, playing Kansas City is not not only is it I'm pretty sure our best EV pick anyway. Right. Um, being that, I would think there would be a stronger lean toward them sticking with their original plan and going Cincinnati Buffalo and then being if they are local I don't know who they are you know they want they want to root for Kansas oh, City I have a dumb they, question. It, so, they want to root for it, it, the Kansas City in the AFC championship I wanted to have a look ahead line but if Buffalo wins and Kansas City wins and let's just say they both like just you know cover by whatever who what, what's the spread of that in that neutral field game uh, that, on, I mean I, I use uh impredictable.com oh, okay. market numbers and Kansas City line. is a point they're a point and a half better than Buffalo but on neutral field. Okay. But it really, it really doesn't matter because what, what the spread is in the, in the end, I, I think what we're hoping for our, our best case scenario, I mean, our, our best case scenario is, uh, I mean, if we did not take Kansas city, we would want Kansas city to lose so that everyone would be wedged on the, uh, the Philly Dallas game. What's what's Philly then, San Francisco? Philly minus three. Um, probably less. Think so at home? I think so. Yeah. I mean, I, the, if everyone was wedged on the NFC game, I would want to be taking Dallas over Philly as like a small dog, like because I, I think that would pre present the most EV. Um, but the only way that would ever happen is if Kansas City lost. Meaning we we would have had to have taken Philadelphia because if Kansas City's in, people are going to be taking. Yeah, I mean there'd be too many teams taken. So someone would take Kansas City, someone would take Philly, and and there's really, I don't know if it, it wouldn't be good to take Dallas in that spot. But if everybody was forced onto the NFC Championship game, taking Dallas as a, as a small dog would be very good. Th this is something we talked about in the podcast months ago. Just never have hard set rules because a scenario could somehow present itself where it makes sense to do something um, where you would actually take an underdog in a survivor pool. Because if there were 16 people left in this pool with the format that we have, we would have taken Jacksonville or the Giants. Well, forget for that. Sure, you, for sure. You, for sure. You for sure. Forget that. If you knew these people were taking Buffalo this week, you should take Cincinnati and be done with it. I mean, like, no, I'm saying week one. Oh, I'm saying we week right now. Like, oh yeah, hundred oh, percent. Oh, hundred percent. And then if we, had got, oh yeah, and if we had gotten to this point right now by, by taking one of those dogs, and let's just say a bunch of people are still in, yeah, we would take Cincinnati because we would want to. We would want to have Kansas City hosting them in the AFC Championship game. I don't game. even mean that. I just mean right now. We we we, we talked this through. We we saw there were different ways that you could play, these other guys could play. But if you knew mm -hmm. somehow that the three guys were going to take Buffalo. You know? Then oh, you, yeah. Then yeah, take we Cincinnati and be done with it. I mean, like. Oh, believe me. Yeah, we, we talked about that. The problem three to one odds. But, 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 but all you need is one guy to not take them. And then you're like, oh, great. That's exactly. So we, we, we got over that very quickly. Yeah. We, we pointed that out as a possibility before last week's weekend's games even played out. Is what? How awesome would it be? Right. If we can just take Cincinnati next week and just get it and just get it over with. But. Yeah, it was going to be very difficult. It was going to be impossible to like feel like that was going to happen. So, it it would have. I don't even know what would have required. I mean, like, I, I guess. I guess if uh, Miami beat, man, it would have been a lot different if Miami beat Buffalo somehow. That would that would have made things very interesting. I think. Uh, I, think because, I think in the end, I think this is going to come down to the Super Bowl for you guys, but we'll see. Um, uh, so I, I want a story to tell you about about the Survivor. Um, it's 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 a movie reference. I keep forgetting to bring this up. My friend Jack, my partner, always brings this up, and he actually sent me mm -hmm. he sent me the link, and I watched the movie. It's it's like an okay movie, but like the first like twenty minutes is like literally legendary. So you you all know like Robert Downey Jr. from like you know Iron Man, and all this stuff. So big yeah. his father Robert Downey Sr. like directed like a lot of really really great movies in the fifties and sixties. 
And and one of them was a movie called um, called a Putney Swopes. Okay, and Putney Swope, it's like a it's a very sixties ish movie, but but the, the first scene is like legend legendary like Survivor pool scene. Okay, so this is what happened. It's really funny. So th there was a it's, it's kind of like a, a um, it's a it's a corporation company with a board of directors. It's kind of mm -hmm. like uh, it's a family run business, but it's like but but the the, the head of the company literally dropped dead like during a board meeting and there's like 20 people in the board and according to the rules you know to elect a new board member you had to there had to be a vote but the one rule was that you couldn't vote for yourself okay yeah. you couldn't vote for someone else and so they had like 19 19 guys there they had had a token black guy that was on the board that they hired just to be like the token black guy and what everybody ended up doing is they all voted for the black guy, thinking nobody else would do it, <laughs> and that's and that's and that's exactly and the guy ended up becoming the CF CEO and like just like wreaking havoc over like the whole whole corporation. But it's 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 total survivor pool theory. Like nobody thought that anybody else would do it, and next thing you know, everybody did it. <laughs> so it's, it's, I, I want I want to do a little play off that because I did have one more note that I didn't yeah. get to. It it was from three years ago. I, I actually I pulled it up. And ironically, it, it's it's over Atlanta, which we 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 already had that conversation yeah. multiple times about yeah. our our strategy that week. But this it came up three years ago as well, in, in in my pool with double picks, where there were I look back at all my notes and, and Google spreadsheets, and there were sixty people left, and we had doubles, and I I, I still remember this really well that I was I had been I was eyeing Atlanta as a really good. Um, you know, drop pick. And what happened was I, I was talking to uh, my friend, uh, Nick, and I've referenced him earlier as, uh, uh, this year in a couple of pools. He, he's very sharp. And he, and he was in the same pool and he was talking about Atlanta. And, and then in one of my group chats, they were also talking Atlanta as a, as a good drop pick. And I realized I mean, fuck, I can't do that. I mean, it, we're playing doubles and I know, I know this one person's taking them and, and they have more that they have like a couple entries out of 60 and these other guys aren't in it, but you know, they're thinking and talking about it. I'm, I'm going to take somebody else. And I, I, I pulled it up on survivor grid. It didn't matter because all the teams lost um, right. Atlanta lost. Um, I ended up taking Detroit and uh, Oakland. They all lost. They're all very, very close. Detroit was minus four. Um, Oakland was minus three. They're both on the road. And then Atlanta was uh, minus three and a half. So they weren't even like the highest favorite team. So because of two people mentioning it, I didn't take them. And Atlanta was uh, far more picked in that format, in that specific pool. I think they were like, there were 60 people left. And more than 10 people took them. And I jumped on Detroit and Oakland. I don't remember how many took them, but it was a lot less than that. So it, in the end, it, it, sometimes the obvious is obvious to everyone else too. I, I think that's the, the point that you're yeah. alluding to. Yeah. And if you can get a little bit of the extra information, um, you know, I, I, I polled people and, and I think we were going to go San Francisco anyway, but you know, it felt really good when we asked 30 people and only two of them. Wait, wait, said dumb, San Francisco. wait, 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 dumb question. Um, when did, when does your, when did the pool lock? Oh, yeah. We, you know, we should have brought that up too. So that played into it as well. Um, well, I mean, for this coming week though, also. No, it, it well, as in the previous weeks, if, if, if it's before Sunday, it's, it's that, that, that the, when that game starts. Otherwise, it's you know, do you know if somebody took anybody on Saturday? Yeah. And what games are Saturday? So that that's that, that was the other reason why there was some some thought for, by, on my end to take Philly because Kansas City plays first, and so Kansas City can, Saturday afternoon and and, and Giants are Sunday. No, G Giants and Philly are Saturday, are Saturday, Saturday night, night. Saturday. Yeah, and, and the Chiefs are sa Saturday afternoon. So, right. but l last week, no one cared. Like, I mean, uh, you know, they didn't take that first game, but we felt that was a little bit different. 
but you, there definitely is an opportunity. The only way we, we could take Buffalo in the event that if we did not take Kansas City, um, you know, if two people took uh, Kansas City, we could definitely t- we would definitely take Buffalo, or we could at least we could take Buffalo, or we could t- uh, or I guess we could or we could take Philly too. That's what I, I don't like how. It, 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 it should just all lock, but it doesn't. So you got, you got to play with, you know, within the, the rules of the parameters that everyone else plays by, but um, it, it definitely adds a wrinkle to it because if like, for example, if Buffalo played first last week and lost, uh, nobody would have picked Cincinnati anymore. Right. Right. So th- th- that that's that's why it's really important to know the rules of your pool and when the lock is. And I and I screw it up too. Um, I know what the rules are in this pool. Um, I've made a mistake before about the box out thing. I thought box out lost, and 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 uh, you know we we played the strategy that way, and uh, I made I made a little boo boo in hedging. Not really matter, but um, on on the Christmas weekend this this week, I just assumed that you know, the main slate is on Saturday. So the, the, everything's going to lock. Right. And it, right. and it, and it didn't. And right. I'm telling you, I, I looked at everything really quick and I'm like, okay, this is fine. But man, this is ripe for collusion and cheating. Um, right. Depending on how many people are left, because we, two of the five of us took the early game and then it was, it was incredible. Some guy could have took San Francisco and he didn't do it. When, if he just looked, he knew one guy was taking Tampa Bay. Like a hundred percent of the time, he's taking Tampa Bay, and instead of taking San Francisco as a bigger favorite, he duplicated the Tampa Bay pick, and then that that was a disaster for us. But and then it but then it ended up working out because San Francisco uh, the the Raiders bench Carr, and then San Francisco is a huge favorite the next week against the Raiders. Uh, but right. you have to play to within, you know th- that that was an example where you would switch your pick because let's just say someone in our pool that week had the Chargers. And we knew they were taking the Chargers after the the slate lock, the, the early games lock, because that was his best pick left. But you know there there are scenarios where we were planning on taking the Chargers, but then if you see what everyone else is taking, let's say they all lose, you get to the last that that didn't lock until uh, in, until Sunday when there were like four games on well, there were four games, three games on Christmas, and then one day on Monday. You 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 could have switched and took in uh, the uh, the underdog possibly if if it was if it was obvious that you know what's to say five, the last five people were taking the Chargers those situations very very rare but they can come up I, I don't like the, the slate should have locked for the main slate but especially since it's the end of the season and you know people could be winning that week but it is what it is it says it right there in the rules I I, I just thought it'd be different. Um, I didn't think about it. I, I assumed it would be different because the, the main slate fell on a Saturday because of Christmas. Next week, I am away, but I'm, I'm available sort of. You know, I'll have my laptop. I'll be working, yep. um, and we'll we'll find we'll, we'll find a time to do it. Um, you know, depending on how you know, depending on where, whether it's appropriate or not. But um, yeah. but uh, I'll, I'll reach out to you uh, after the weekend, and and hey, make sure you end up posting in the Discord who we're supposed to root for. Will do. See you guys All next right. week. You're the man. Talk to you later. Bye.